What's up, everybody? I am here today to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh! random nonsense. It's been a hot minute since I've posted, and it's really, I wish I could come back here and be like, oh yeah, I've had all this big stuff in the works, and I've been working on this cool content, but honestly, I have just not been feeling it lately, so trying to get back in the swing. I say that I feel like every video, <laughs> like there's like a month in between every single video for like the literally the easiest content you could imagine, but enough of that. So today we're gonna be opening up the Speed Duel GX uh, Academy box. I'm pretty sure it's just all, yeah, it's just like ready to play decks, but we'll kind of go through those. We'll swap out the mat. We've been on this ball guy mat for a long time. It's been too long. We'll switch back to him later. And then we got this Yu-Gi-Oh! Hidden Arsenal Chapter One. And I don't even know what's supposed to be in here. I've been like really out of the, uh, the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! game for a minute, so. It'll be a surprise for everybody. Unless, of course, you already know, then I guess it's not a surprise. <laughs> All right, oh, that's a, a vibrant mat. I like that a lot. The details actually like, it's pretty sweet. I wanna say I got cards for when this drop came out too, but I can't remember where I put them. I have like boxes of cards to open and I've literally like, I've been, I've been still wasting money on cards. I just haven't been actually enjoying and opening them. <laughs> which is uh, pretty dumb. I should just, I mean, like I said, this is like literally like the easiest content you could do. I don't know why I don't just keep, keep on going. It's not like I need to be inspired or anything. Okay, so we got this promo card. We got some dice, got a bunch of random crap in here. Whatever the hell this dice is supposed to be. Ooh. I mean, it says yu gi -Oh on it, that's kind of cool. All right, so we got two packs. And I want to say this this like box was hella expensive. So it's nice that it came with two packs only. <laughs> but I mean, they do feel kind of fast. So maybe it'll be worth it. Okay, we'll open up one of these packs. The art on the pack is pretty cool. I'm not going to do any kind of like weird flipping around or anything. But okay, we got the... Drag Unity, Drag Unity, Legendary. Le I'm not gonna pronounce that. I'm not gonna, if I try to sit here pronouncing all these cards, it's gonna be a hour long video. And I just realized I'm not centered. Awesome. Ooh, I like that a lot. Ooh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, holographic. Ooh. We got Drag Unity Knight. We got Polymizer, Par Polymerization, whatever. Oh, we got the holo. That's like a glitter, glitter holographic. I'm not sure if the glitter is picking up in that, but that's nice. Then I guess these are just gonna be some more commons. Oh, I really like this set though. I don't know. I'm stoked on the red eyes. Okay. Oh, Deep Sea Rep. Repetitor, repetitor. Got a little uh, fairy on the piano, or a sea serpent, rather. I'll just leave it sealed. You guys can still see it pretty good. Nice. Get into this second pack. All right, the Drag Unity Javelin. Of course. Ooh. But art and Yu-Gi-Oh is just so much better than Pokemon. I mean, I guess they're they're both their own style. And then Yu-Gi-Oh has cards like this that are like a little uh, Pokemon-esque. But okay, Mystical Space Typhoon. Ooh, another Drag Unity. That's that's awesome. This little furry dude. That's pretty cool. And then these are just gonna be some more basic cards. Now that we got that done, let's get to this uh, main course here. This retails, I believe, is like 30 bucks, which honestly, now that I think about it, it's like literally the same exact price as what I just got that other box. So that's it's pretty whack on Yu-Gi-Oh's part. It's an ex expensive box, but I do like this. This uh, I have so many Pokemon, like tins and whatnot. It's nice to get some Yu-Gi-Oh boxes here and there. And then here's some of the, the art. I personally always hated on uh, GX. 
when it came out just because uh, I was a child and I didn't understand that like why they would uh, continue a Yu-Gi-Oh series without like you know the guy that's actually named Yugi but I mean that's just me got some play mats it looks like but something about this called to me I mean I seen it at Burns and I was like you know what I'm gonna get that box and I'm gonna open it okay are these the size of them all we got some dividers okay we got some decks Sweet. I'll go ahead and save this pack for last because it seems special. Let's look at what's in these pre-built pre -built decks. Okay, we'll kind of just like speed through this because I feel like it's going to just be a lot of, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's just a pre-built deck. It's going to be a lot of nonsense. But you guys may like it, so we'll go through it. And if you're watching this and you're like, dude, this this is lame, uh, let me know in the comments and I won't open up these pre-built decks because they are kind of lame. But it is nice to like have some more, I mean, obviously these are built with a purpose of, it makes, makes playing it a lot, uh, a lot easier, you know? Unless you're like some like master duelist that knows like I mean, master duelist that's hella cringe, but you know what I mean. Like you're some dude that like knows the ins and outs and whatnot. Not some like casual player like me. Okay, that took absurdly long, but yeah, let's take a peek in at this thing. Okay, see some familiar faces in here. Some more of the same. It is cool though because I have, I think a lot of these cards I don't have. I mean, obviously I don't really like fuck with the GX stuff, but ooh, I kind of like these dudes, like the the art on it, like it's so just obscure and out of place with the rest of the deck. Like it. And it's cool to see them like appear in like these other cards. All right, we got another pre build for you. This looks like a more like robot heavy, robot dragon heavy. That art is wild, ridiculous. I'll go ahead and crop like, make sure this is like in scene because I just realized that it was out. Oh, the big koala. I like that a lot. I like Moki Moki a lot. But yeah, it looks like a lot. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to set that aside too. I'm just going to throw those in like the front. That way I remember to like take a look at them more. I mean, they are super basic, but I like those cards a lot okay we got our last deck this is a fatty okay some more mech art and mech cards actually it's a lot more mech heavy it's pretty uh intense a lot of random stuff this one's like actually more this is like built like an actual deck Okay, got some more, a bunch of warriors. I'll speed it up. Ooh, I like that. Rainbow gravity. So we'll finally get to this little booster, booster pack. It looks a lot more interesting than the uh, other ones. Okay, oof, I like that. We got, holy shit, that's like Vampire Thomas the Train. Huh, where do they come up with this stuff? I like that a lot, of course. Okay, finishing off with DD Warrior Lady, holographic. Oh, that's sick, I got some cool cards, uh, stoked on that. 
I think the winner of the day is this Red Eyes Black Dragon for sure. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the video and be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.